Good morning, one and all. Myself, Bhavani from Civil Department. Today, I am going to give the lecture on man-made disasters, planetary and extra-planetary disasters. Firstly, coming to the first one that is man-made disaster. What is meant by this man-made disaster means? It is caused due to the human-made disaster. Means by humans, disasters can be occurred. That is called as the man-made disasters. And they can be occurred... Uh, um, because of the negligence also and because of the human action and because of the some errors also, these man-made disasters can be made here. And these disasters, if they uh, affect means, the impact will be very high on the human health properties and also environments. And in these man-made disasters, it can include the hazardous material space, fires, groundwater contamination, and so many accidents can happen. It means like uh, transportation accidents. Next is structure failures and also mining accidents, terrorism. These are all caused by the man-made disasters only. And mainly, these actions will be very, very uh, dangerous to the society also. Why? Because uh, these uh, man-made threats, man-made threats is to find out what uh, you need to do and uh, what you need to have in advance also. That is nothing but the man-made emergency here. Okay. So that's why these man-made disasters can be um, directly can be done and uh, without any means uh, negligence can be done. These disasters can be because of this negligence, human action and also because of some unknown errors also this can happen here. Coming to the first one means what are the types of these um, man-made disasters is industrial disasters means um, accidents can be happen in the industries that is called as the industrial accidents means like um, in the mine fa mines, factories and other industrial centers these accidents can be happen means because of the um, due to some uh, negligence because of the labors also and uh, that uh, site can um, uh, overall, in these factories, there will be so many volatile materials. Firstly, in that volatile materials, these undergo structural stress. Why? Because due to the labor, uh, these overall structures, these uh, structural stress can be occurred. And in this one, these site can suffer expl uh, explosions and they can collapse also. They can, uh, they can be loss of life also. Means Unknowingly only these humans can be done. That is one of the major man-made disasters here. Why? Because in this industrial disaster, there will be so many harmful chemicals will be there. Or some more volatile materials will be there. Unknowingly, if they do anything, means that will be big impact to that factory. And who are working in that factory also. Why? Because there will, there will be so much loss of humans there. Coming to the next one that is uh, transportation accidents. Means if uh, um, vehicle to vehicle any accidents happen means there will be so much uh, human loss will be there. And in this one, in this man-made disasters there will be so much um, these accidents are very very dangerous. And in this one errors in uh, judgment will be there and uh, technical uh, problems will be there in that vehicle. And even some of the animals when they are crossing the road, maybe in the forest area, when these animals are crossing the road also, that can cause the accidents there. So we have to be very careful when crossing the roads and when we are driving the vehicles also. And when these types of serious problems are occurred means, um, with the mass transit vehicles like trains, these, those problems can be very disastrous. Why? Because if any accident occurred um, occurred for the train means there will be so much human loss will be there. Okay, we have to be very careful when train accidents are occurred. Means uh, immediate action, means uh, preparedness should be there. So, we have to be very careful at this transportation accidents also. Coming to the next one that is uh, nuclear and chemical disasters. Because of this nuclear reactions or because of this chemical disasters also, there are so many disasters happened previously 
uh, one of the very um, very horrible accident that happened is um, in Japan means uh, Hiroshima Nagasaki that um, overall that region when that uh, nuclear bomb that fall on that um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki region overall that area is exploded immediately and now also um, no human will be living there why because that because of this um, nuclear or hydrogen bomb or autumn bomb nitrogen bomb there will be so much impact to that area and these are very um, this nuclear um, attacks are very very horrible also these disasters this can leave almost miles of land means there will be no habitants also in that area or for um, even centuries also there will be no habitants which can be grown on that area okay and there will be a leak of dangerous chemicals will be there so these are um, means this can be when compared with the nuclear and chemical disasters the these um, new chemical disaster is somewhat better when compared to the nuclear disasters here Next one is terrorism. This terrorism is uh, nothing but the uh, one of the very dangerous man-made disaster. Why? Because in this terrorism, there will be so much violence will be there against the people here. And because of this uh, violence against the persons or uh, property in violation of the criminal laws, these are all comes under the terrorism only. And if any terrorist, they will just... Uh, uh, threat the um, people with the people's life to the government if they want anything these terrorists they want anything means they will automatically threaten the government or they will uh, hijack something or uh, there will be bomb scares will be there there will be kidnapping will be there and any cyber attack will be there because uh, using these uh, types of uh, terrorism attack they will just threat the government why because if they want anything if they want um, any some specific reason because of this because of specific reason if they do this type of kidnapping hijacks means almost at that time government how to obey their orders also at that time without any option okay so that's why this terrorism is very very dangerous in the man-made disasters next one is bomb threats these bomb threats it is nothing but the declaration of any Explosive devices means uh, if in a, any area or any public places or any schools or any means railway station, bus station, if uh, these uh, uh, like uh, terrorist attack like like this, this also comes under this bomb threats. They uh, they just want to some of the people uh, they want to just to prank also, and because of that one, there will be so much damage will be done uh, done to the. Human life also means um, when these uh, in these uh, public areas or schools or government buildings, they will just um, uh, they can be communicated through the calls, messages or any social media. So that's why these terrorists they will attack the public places only because uh, these uh, humans they will easily panic and there will be so much disruption at that area. Mainly these uh, terrorism uh, due to this uh, terrorism, this will include means uh, when these uh, uh, bomb threats will be done means there will be direct um, there will include the authorities also and there will be possible um, evacuations will be there so some of the pre immediate uh, preventive measures they have to take means government have to take uh, higher authorities or government they have to take immediate action if any area is uh, bomb threatening means they have to evacuate that place and they have to they move that uh, humans to another place there. So preventive measures are uh, nothing but uh, security systems or public awareness can be done when this bomb threatening is going to be happen. Um, like uh, high profile examples like uh, Boston Maritime bombing. This highlight the overall severity of the bomb threatening here. Next one is uh, suspicious parcels and letters. If uh, means uh, when when we are uh, we can see in some of the movies also they will just uh, these uh, terrorists they will just keep their bags or luggage any parcels at the public areas means it may be uh, railway stations or bus stations or any malls also 
they will just uh, what they will do they just keep their parcel at some um, unknown unknown place and they will just set their time bomb there means what will happen there will be so much um, damage to the human life at that time so we have to be very careful when there is any suspicious parcels will be there maybe they may contain explosives or any chemical or biological agents will be there so we have to be very cautious at that place and uh, coming to the next one that is uh, deadliest man made disasters till now till now what are the main disaster deadliest man made disasters sir first one is bhopal gas leak it's uh, bhopal gas leak is uh, occurred in 1984 at that time what is happened in in, in um, this happened in india uh, in uh, bhopal region this happened and it is one of the worst industrial accident in the history why because in the year 1984 there is almost 45 tons of uh, this uh, methyl isocyanate gas is leaked from that one of the tank means uh, one of the um, plant the overall 45 tons of this methyl isocyanate is leaked at that time thousands of people they died immediately only because of this gas and mainly a total number of 15000 to 20000 people died and a half million people survived with respiratory and um, eye problems means it is one of the very tragic incidents that happened in india why because almost half of the million people they just uh, got out that um, uh, disaster just by um, survived with this um, respiratory and eye problems also means uh, after that life only they won't live happily why because they are going to be faced with uh, so many respiratory problems or like um, any eye problems or any diseases also and next one is in the year 1986 it is um, it is called as a chernobyl disaster it is in uh, this chernobyl area is situated in ukraine here at that time this uh, nuclear reactor in the uh, chernobyl is um, blow up means this overall nuclear reactor they just blow up at that time overall this uh, a nuclear that effect is almost spread among the 200 mile radius and for decades also um, there will there is so many impact for uh, some decades also these uh, forced automatically these disaster forced almost 3 lakh 50000 people to evacuate their overall area means uh, within within uh, hours only they 3 lakhs 50000 people they just evacuated the uh, area because of this um, radiation poisoning why because if this radiation poisoning that um, um, go into the human body means this will um, um in, they, this will impact their overall respiratory problems and also some may uh, some may get um, cancer problems also okay and uh, coming to the next one this happened in 2005 that is um, Jillian chemical plant explosion and in this one overall six people died and 70 were injured in this one and thousands of people 10000s of the uh, people they just evacuated that area it is happened in uh, china and here overall um, this uh, at that time when this um, chemical plant explode means there will be so much loss to the nearby areas they immediately this uh, happened nearer to the china russia border when this um, benzene levels uh, is uh, measured at 108 times uh, as high as the standard safety levels and it uh, eventually into the pacific ocean means it is one of the i uh, means um, contamination of that uh, water also happened at that time and why this uh, explosive is occurred means due to the blockage in one of the nitration uh, towers plant because of this um, blockage of this one only this explosion is occurred at that time next one is campfire means uh, in california in the year 2018 this ca- campfire incident campfire disaster is occurred at that time almost 85 people they died also 19000 uh, buildings are already destroyed and mainly these uh, 
uh, why this uh, campfire is occurred means due to the power lines that is owned by the Pacific gas and also electric. Due to this only this campfire is occurred. And next one is planetary disaster. Coming to the next one that is planetary disaster. Namely, what is meant by this planetary disaster means these disaster are occurring or existing in the inner part or inner space of our planet that is earth. Means outside of the planet any disaster is happened means to the earth means that is called as the extra planetary disaster. This planetary disaster is nothing but the in the earth means uh, inner space of the earth any disaster is happening means that is called as the planetary disasters and these planetary disasters these uh, encompass the large scale events that uh, threaten the stability and also habitant of that earth. This can be caused due to natural or uh, man-made disasters also. In this one, in this planetary disaster, we are having two types that is exogenous and endogenous disasters. And these exogenous disasters, uh, it is comes from the external sources and endogenous disasters will uh, come from the planet itself. In detail, we are going to study. In this one, exogenous disasters. In this exogenous disaster, what it is means from external sources of the earth these disasters can be happen what are the external sources that will uh, just uh, the disaster how it will impact our earth means first one is asteroid impact in this asteroid impact how it will um, cause disaster to our earth means mainly when large asteroids or any comets that will collide with the earth means that will be a big disaster. Some of the examples that happened already is uh, Chicklip impact. Impact is caused almost 66 million years ago. Due to this, there are uh, so many massive explosions, fires, tsunamis, and there will be drastic change in the climatic conditions at that time. Coming to the next one, that is uh, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, and uh, this happened. What is meant by this means um, there will be so much uh, radiation that comes through the earth into the inner space of the earth. There will be so much bursts of um, radiation and also charged particles from the sun also. Why? Because we already know that ozone layer is protecting from the sun's radiation. And due to these solar flares and also CMEs, these uh, there will be so much bursts of radiation is happened and when this happened means in the year 1859 there is a so a very powerful geomagnetic storm is happened at that time and what are the consequences when these solar flares are occurred means there will be disruption in the communication system there will be potential risk health risk also will be there power drives and also disruption to the satellites also going to be happen at that time. Next one is gamma ray birds and how this will uh, impact means these uh, intense burst of uh, gamma radiation from the very distant astronomical events is going to be happen and some of the examples of this one is hypothetical uh, scenarios that will involve these gamma rays from the neutron star collision. When this collision is um, Occurred means this uh, gamma ray it burns. At the time when that burns means automatically ozone layer will get damaged. Means uh, there will be potential damage to our ozone layer here. That will um, lead to the increase in ultraviolet radiation also. And also global ecological impact will be there. Why? Because ecology for our earth is very important. Because of this gamma ray burst only. There will be so much damage is going to be happen for the ozone layer, ultraviolet radiation and also for the ecology also. Coming to the next one that is uh, endogenous disasters. These, what is meant by this endogenous disaster means inside of the earth, these disasters can be happen. Why? Because exogenous means outside of the earth going to be happen. 
these endogenous is nothing but the inside of the earth these are going to be happen in that one first one is super volcano eruptions and what is meant by this means very massive volcanic eruptions are going to be occur that will just change the climatic conditions also overall global climatic condition they can change due to this volcanoes here one of the best example of this um, super volcano eruption is um, toba eruption that happened almost 74000 years ago and also yellowstone super volcano is also happened at that time that is, that is also uh means that is one of the very massive volcanic eruption at that time and due to this volcanic eruptions what are the consequences we are going to face means due to this um volcanic um winters due to ash and also sulfur or dioxide in the atmosphere this will uh, this volcanoes they will just release the ash and sulfur dioxide into the air into the atmosphere they will just release and this lead to the global cooling and this will uh, reduce the sunlight and uh, there will be so much widespread of crop failure because of the super volcano eruptions some advantages very few advantages will be there and very more disadvantages is also there okay next one is earthquakes and earthquake nothing but what sudden release of the energy in earth crust overall that earth ground level will get shaked at that time that is called as the earthquake here one of the best example in our india is 2004 indian ocean earthquake and also um with tsunami here at that time what are the consequences we are going to face means ground rupture tsunamis are occurred and there will be so many infrastructure loss is there and also human life loss is also there next one is climatic change in this climatic change long term changes is going to be happen to the temperature and also weather pattern due to the human activities or due to natural process also okay and best example of this climatic change is global warming means a current global warming is a trends to link with the greenhouse effect greenhouse gas emissions because of this greenhouse gas emissions also global warming is um it is uh, very much re uh, re means reducing because of this greenhouse gas emissions and what are the consequences we are going to face at that time because of this some um, climatic changes there will be rising of uh, sea levels will be there and weather extreme weather weather events are going to be happen and also there will be loss of habitats means uh, growth of plants will be very less at that time due to this climatic change there will be very very less growth of trees here and also there will be ecological disruption will be there and what are the preventive measures we are going to um we are going to just start means and what are the mitigation process we are going to do means for the exogenous what we are going to do means asteroid detection and also deflection here in this one improved space monitoring should be done means um, exogenous means outside of the earth only this is going to be happen so we have to be monitor the overall uh, space and there will be and uh, we have to do the potential deflection missions to overall alt alter the course of incoming asteroid means before that will uh, these uh, asteroids hit the earth only we are going to know before only then only we can just eradicate this at asteroid here and next one is space weather monitoring these um, there is uh, so many prediction models nowadays because of this prediction models for um, solar flares and also cmes uh, this can just protect the infrastructure also and next one is gamma ray burst research ongoing research this will just uh, understand the grbs here and there will be protective measures we have to just implement we have to implement it because there will be so much unpredictability of the earth means out, outside of the earth there, we can't just predict uh, next minute we don't know what is going to be happen so we have to be very ready 
and the protective measures have to be taken at that always protective measures have to be taken means we, we have to be very ready uh, always we have to ready because of this uh, disasters next one is endogenous disaster means how we have to eradicate this one means volcanic monitoring we have to monitor these uh, super volcanoes and we have to just uh, emergency prepare the plans we have to just uh, implement then only we can just eradicate this um, so much damage from the volcanoes next one is seismic engineering means uh, uh, by building the uh, by build the structures to withstand this earthquake means uh, um, that will be a very good sign to the infrastructure nowadays why because we can see in japan there is nothing but that this japan is um, uh, are so many earthquakes and also tsunamis are uh, uh, occurring in um, Japan, and that's why their infrastructure infrastructure of their buildings is also uh, very rare when compared with the world. Because they they will be very prepared when these um, natural disasters are going to be happen. So infrastructure is also very important to sustain these natural disasters or man made disaster. Or this uh, planetary disasters also, and uh, if any earthquakes is going to be come, means we have to just uh, early warning system. We have to uh, give to the people. And next one is climate climate action. Global efforts mean means we have to just uh, effort to reduce these uh, greenhouse gas emissions and transition to the renewable energy, and we have to implement the. Overall, the sustainable practices to mitigate this uh, climatic change impact also. Coming to the next one, that is uh, extra planetary disasters. This extra planetary disaster, nothing but um, that going to be occurred in the space only. Means um, uh, outside of the Earth, these are going to be happen. It is nothing but the catastrophic events that occur in the space or on. Uh, celestial bodies means outside of the earth or nearby the planets or nearby the any comets this can be happen these disasters can be happen and it will impact the space missions also due to this extra planetary disaster uh, space missions can be delayed and also human space exploration can be um, delayed or even on the earth also this can impact this Overall, at the surface also, this can be caused due to the um, man-made dis. This can be man-made disaster, or this may be natural disaster also. And uh, some of the key examples of this um, extra planetary disaster is um, I already told you this one asteroid and uh, comet impacts. When these uh, large asteroids or any uh, comets that will uh, collide with the planets or moons. This is going to be happen, and some of the examples are um, potential impacts on uh, Mars or any other planets. Means uh, these, th there will be so much uh, space stations will be there in the uh, outside of the Earth. Means when these um, extra planetary disasters is going to be happen, means there will be delaying of their missions is going to be happen at that time. And what are the consequences we are going to face at that um, asteroid and compact um, comet impact is there will be massive explosions, potential changes in um, planetary environment to nothing but robotic pros or um, human habitants. This can be happen. And how we have to mitigate this one means how we we have to eradicate this um, disaster means some um, space missions they have to design. to study and also monitor the near earth objects and also potential deflection strategies should be done and also contingency plans for the human habitants can be done by doing this we can just mitigate this asteroid and comet impacts also next one is dust storms and harsh surface condition what is meant by this means there will be severe weather phenomena or extreme surface conditions can be happen on the other planets here and due to this uh, extreme weather conditions these dust storms will going to be occurred on the other planets best example is um 
on the mars this dust storm can be formed and extreme cold can be seen on um, europa or sulfuric acid rain on the venus also we already seen that one and what is the consequences of this um, dust storms is our uh, visibility can be reduced and the power gen uh, generation can be stopped at that time and uh, damage to the equipment and also health risk to the astronauts why because in the space station so many astronauts they are living in the space station only means uh, day to day they are going to be observe the overall space means what is the functioning of that one other planets what is the functioning and what we are going to do and uh, so many missions they are going they are carrying at that a uh, space station only so they have to be very careful if these uh, dust storms is going to be formed means that that will be health risk to the astronauts also and how we have to mitigate this um, dust storms is um, robust habitats and vehicle designs to withstand these um, harsh condition and development of the autonomous uh, systems and uh, um, if any severe weather conditions is there means um, uh to continue their operations we have to design some updated system autonomous system they have to uh, increase and environmental monitoring we have to do this can be then only we have we can uh, mitigate this dust storm on the space next one is micro meteorite impacts in this one what uh, it will do means smart particles very small particles that will travel the high speeds in the space in just like the asteroid only means asteroid will be very big in size but uh, this one uh, very small particles that will uh, travel along the high speeds in the space and this some of the examples is impact on the iss iss nothing but what international space station these because of this um, micro meteorite also there will be so much impact to the space stations and the space craft can be traveling to the mars or any habitants on the moon also that can be damaged because of this one and what are the consequences we are going to face means there will be damage to the space craft hulls and punctures in the habitants space suits and also potential injury can be done to the astronauts and if uh, space suits will get damaged means astronauts cannot sustain outside the space there and how we are going to mitigate these micro meteorite means by improving the shielding technologies means um, astronaut they will wear the space suit that suits can be designed very neatly means the shielding technologies can be uh, improved and regular inspection can be done and we have to repair the protocols and we have to develop the self healing materials also by doing this we will just um, uh, mitigate this micro meteorite disaster coming to the next one that is um, space debris space uh, what is meant by this uh, space debris means when any man made objects in orbit that is uh, just rotating around the earth or any planets that is no longer serving useful purpose then this debris is going to be formed some of the examples are um, different um, different satellites rocket stages and also fragments from the collisions or any disintegrations this can be formed due to the space debris what are the consequences we are going to face at that time means collision risk to the operational satellites and the space craft can be damaged Uh, and the international space system can be damaged and that is uh, very much hazard to the mars to the moon here and how we are going to mitigate this one means we have to uh, remove this uh, debris actively and we have to improve the satellite um, design to minimize this uh, debris creation also and we have to that uh, tracking facility should be we have to just uh, a uh, betterment can be done for the tracking purpose and also collision systems also we can just betterment can be done for this tracking and also collision systems coming to the next one that is um, solar flares and uh, 
coronal mass ejections in this one in this cm is what they will do means uh, ejections of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona this can be done means uh, due to this uh, sun this solar flares can be uh, done solar flares can be developed what are the examples of this um, solar flares means solar storms that will affect the mars or the moon where these uh, human missions can, might be stationed means uh, on the mars or on the moon also there are so many missions uh, carried out uh, over all the world also so when these uh, solar flares is going to be occur means that will be very much damage to the astronauts and when they are doing any human missions also they will just lose their life also sometimes and what are the consequences means there will be disruption in the communication system and the power supplies can be just ejected and there will be increase in the radiations to the astronauts who are living in the space stations only and how we are going to mitigate this one means uh, by spacecraft shielding radiation hardened electronics and also advanced warning system we have to do for the solar activity then only we can mitigate this solar flares then only uh, these astronauts they can save their lives from this solar flares only next one is cosmic radiation and in this cosmic radiation what it will happen means high energy particles from um, outside the solar system include the galactic cosmic rays can be happen and in this one high energy particles uh, just like the so outside of the solar system there will be so much high energy particles will be there because of this one only this cosmic radiation is going to be formed then what are the examples of this one is increased radiation levels in the deep space due to this um, radiation level is going to be increased in the deep space also and on the surface of the planets like um, mars there will be no atmosphere means uh, there will be climatic change on the mars planet also due to this cosmic radiation and what are the cosmic um, consequences we are going to face for this uh, cosmic radiation is there will be health ri risk to the astronauts here potential damage can be done to the spacecraft and uh, electronic systems and uh, how we can mitigate this one uh, means there will be development of uh, advanced shielding materials and uh, habit and designs just to minimize the um, uh, exposure and medication or any biological counter measures we have to arrange then only we can mitigate this cosmic radiation here okay thank you for today this, these are the reference book in detail you can study in this books thank you everyone like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates